Well, February is American Heart Month. We've been talking about it. And of course, it's always about shining a spotlight on the leading cause of death for both men and women, heart disease. We're going to talk about some simple changes to your diet and how your lifestyle can be key in preventing heart disease. Nutrition expert Betty Murray is here with steps you can take to stay heart healthy. Thanks for being here, Betty. Thank you for having me. Now you, of course, everybody's talking about food and food is one of the main focuses of our existence. But some things that we can add to our menu are actually very, very beneficial in preventing heart disease. What are they? Absolutely. So the very great underpinnings of a heart health diet is a Mediterranean diet. And when you look at that, you're really looking at olive oil. Um, Iberia brand olive oil is a fantastic choice. It's a cold press olive oil mm -hmm. uh, from Spanish olives and it's very, very affordable. It's $6.29 at, at Walmart. Oh, it's good. a fantastic olive oil and it's great for heart health, helps reduce your risk of heart disease. And you want to tell them cold pressed. Cold pressed. Cold pressed because that leaves all the good healthy benefits of the oil in there. Yeah, it's not heated too much because right. if you heat olive oil, sometimes you lose the benefits. Uh, it's not just what we eat though. Certain drinks, beverages you're saying? Absolutely. So green tea, if you drink an average of 12 ounces of green tea a day, you reduce your risk of heart disease and, and heart attack by 50%. Um, and Carrington brand has a fantastic biodegradable bag now, so it's actually compostable and it's actually all organic tea. So Carrington brand is a fantastic choice and you can find it everywhere, even at Walmart. That's wonderful. Okay, well you're saving us money. Yes. Uh, and you also have a way to inspire lifestyle changes because one of the things is just taking that first step you got to have the motivation. Got to have the motivation. You have to exercise. So the other thing that we'd like to point out if somebody has heart disease risk or health risks is when you're exercising, you want to make sure that you take care of yourself. So there is the ID bracelet that you ha can enclose your information, any conditions you may have. Mm -hmm. So if you actually have an incident while running or doing some sort of exercise outside, first responders can actually have information before before they act. That's certainly good news, especially for those who have struggled with heart disease in the past or have had a heart attack and now they're trying to make better strides towards health. Absolutely. Betty Murray, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it.